We'll give until two o'clock. We got. Oh my god. Hey guys and gals, Gunshy Mori here with another video, and today we are going to be going up and exploring one of the surface areas, hopefully getting some drops here, and hopefully we are also able to go up to one of the obelisks and craft up some cryopods and cryofridges, because I could really use those. So to begin here, I do want to go over some stuff that I've done over the weekend here, because my actual real life job got really busy and I just got like tired and didn't want to really record but I still played some arc and so I'm going to show you guys what I've done firstly as you guys may notice I got me a glow pet this is just so that way when I'm exploring the blue zone I don't get swarmed by nameless and as well I was able to get leveled up enough to craft a saddle here for our 190 rock drake now I have been chilling around and cruising on them here around the map um, and because of that, I was able to get some drops. Now, I've not been able to go up to the surface and get those drops. I was just able to get, you know, the cave crates that spawn in. And yeah, so, but the stuff I was able to get is pretty decent. A lot of it is scuba gear for some reason. Uh, that's like, as you know, you'll notice it immediately. There's just a bunch of scuba gear. But yeah, that's mostly what I got. Any of the good stuff, I have it on me right here. Like the goo gun, the climbing pick and all that. This, uh, was it charge lantern is pretty decent. But yeah, that's about it. But I'm already packed up and ready to go to the surface here. I already got all the resources I need for uh, crafting up the cryopods in the cryo fridge. So I think all I'm going to do here is throw that in there. I'll throw the dino book in here as well because I don't need it. Um, I need fiber though. I need a lot of fiber because I need fiber for cryopods. And I just noticed I need I only had four. Right? Yeah, I need like 15. So we're good now. Good thing I caught that before we left the base. But for where we're going to head up to the surface, um, the little area that we're going to be heading to is right over here in this surface area. Now, you may notice as well, we are up to 13, 13 deaths. Yeah, I'll have that ping up on the screen now. And that's just because I tried going out here and exploring this area. But there's like a little suffocation zone right here when like in the entrance to this surface area. So I'm just like, no, we don't go to this one because you literally suffocate trying to leave. Because it's just nothing but those one toxic mushrooms. And I mean, if I had the, what is it, the brown mushrooms to counteract them, we would have been fine. But for the surface area we're heading to, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys it, right? We're heading down over here. We're heading to this area. We're just going to head out this entrance and go and explore. Alrighty, so we have made it over here to the surface entrance. Problem is, is that it is somewhat almost day. I got like, I got like probably like a good two minutes out on the surface here if I go and do this. So, I mean, we will poke our head out here just so that way I can say, hey, we put, we poked our head up into the surface here at least once before you know, the sunlight came up, which that is the goal. And see, there's a bunch of creatures up in here too, which I guess is a good thing. Um, I'm probably going to toggle on my light pet right now, just in case nameless do start spawning, eat some meat, eat a bunch of my mushrooms here. I keep on just using those for water. Get rid of these two things in front of me because I don't want to have to deal with that. Now we just keep advancing. Now, here's the surface, people, and that's a red obelisk. I thought they were all purple. Oh, you know what it is? I think it's just that one that's being worked on and the one that's collapsed that are purple. This is the one that's still standing, so it's still glowing bright and red. Do I want to go further? Do I? Do I dare to venture further? Yes, I do. Because I got a feeling... We just watch that. Okay. Um, any drops nearby? Also, we watch our Rock Drake's hood. See if she sticks up that. See that? That means Reapers. Now that her feathers are sticking straight up, there's a Reaper nearby. Yeah, somewhere over there. We haven't seen a Reaper yet this series. Let's see if maybe we can pop one up here. Madam? That just confused me there real quick. 
Oh, you know what it is? I think it's an invisible wall. Yep, it's an invisible wall. Why would there be an invisible wall right there? That doesn't make sense. Maybe I'm wrong? What's our time? Okay. Once it's 3 o'clock, we're leaving. I kind of just want to see a reaper. There we go. There's two reapers. This is the first time we get to see these this series. At least the first time we've seen them. Ooh, that's not good. We got hit by the acid. But that's reapers. The xenomorphs. That's technically what they are called in this. They are a xenomorph. They have chest bursters. I mean, just less complicated. They've reburied. I'm kind of concerned. Can they, like, travel vertically when they're buried? That's, like, something I'm wondering. Also, what time is it? It's almost three. Let's get up here. Oh, look at the moon. Look at that. I always forget that the moon is, like, shattered. Oh, and look, you can actually see a bit of the earth there with, like, the scarring on it. Damn. Okay, I got me a screenshot there. That might be our thumbnail, but look at that. You can actually, like, see the purple scarring on earth over there. That's what that is over there, like, that gray silhouette. That's earth on the horizon. Damn. You can actually even see out into the Milky Way. That's awesome. They really put... Like, a bunch into this skybox, even though you only see it when you're in this, on the surface. How how high can I get here? Can I get all the way up onto this pike? Oh, yes. This is, this is going to be our screenshot. Or our thumbnail. Okay, yeah. Also, I'm thinking the sun's starting to come up, so we might want to move. Because, look, we're starting to get a better light up on the back there. But I got me a nice screenshot of us staring up at this moon. Okay, it's probably time to head back inside. I'm not seeing any drops out here either, so it's probably just bad timing. But, yeah, I think what we're going to do, yeah, is go back inside. We're going to wait for night to roll back around. Because I really do want to just explore and get a bunch of resources. But I'm also just staring up at the earth and the skybox. And, like, here, I'll toggle this just because it is kind of interfering it. You can even see, like, scarring all the way up there. Like, that's the corruption. That's the element corruption. Look, there's, like, it's as the earth rotates here. We're starting to see more of it. That's so awesome. Also, I've been just sitting here for the last four minutes staring at the skybox. I should probably really get moving. Okay, so my survivor just hit hot. I'm just sitting here in the entrance of the cave. I'm pretty sure the sun's coming up. It's coming up quick, too. Ravenger out there. I just want to sit here and watch it, like, transition. That's all I want to do. But I don't want to get too close. kind of want to be up where those Ravengers are. Get rid of this guy. There we go. Sun's got to be coming up soon. Watch the Parasaur run out there. Oh, it's not. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get stuck. Come on. I like we can see the sunlight there. You see it? Like the sun's now peeking up over the back peak. Oh, it's really starting to brighten up out there. We should be fine. I feel like we'll be fine right here. And as well, I'm pretty sure if we start burning, I can always back up. But That's awesome. Again, I'm just watching the skybox go up. Wait, you're 27? That means you have a mutation. And I killed you. I really was th thinking about claiming you. So I guess kind of what I'm doing right now is seeing like when the sun technically comes back up over here and everything starts getting scorched. And I'm thinking it's going to be 6 o'clock here. So we got another 20 seconds. Okay, it's 6 o'clock and it's still technically nighttime out there. Guess I... Do have a bit more time than I thought. 
but once that hits 90% day out there, it should just start like roasting. I'm waiting for that to happen so I can see when that is exactly. Okay, it's really starting to brighten up out there. As you can see, the shadow is getting closer and closer to the door. I'm pretty sure here at 7 o'clock, it's just going to start the heat wave. Because it's going to like have a heat wave effect, a heat effect, like where it's like all wavy on your screen. That's what I'm waiting for to happen. That's my tell that it's burning outside. But I'm pretty sure it's got to be any second now. Because like, look at how bright it is out there. I don't, I would not even want to be out there right now, even knowing how close it is. Like, it's bright. It is, like, very bright out there. Come on. Five more seconds. It's got to transition here soon. Watch it just, like, insta-kill me. Like, boom, blast of heat through the doorway. Is this it? No. Am I going to burst into flames? No, because it's technically still nighttime out there. Okay, I'm going to give it until 8. I'm thinking it's got to be like 8 o'clock or 8.30 at least. All right, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go with. 8 o'clock, 8.30, somewhere in there for this area. Okay, so it's full daylight out there, but I can actually kind of see the sun now. Sorry if this is kind of awkward in the video. You can kind of see where it is now. It's over by the obelisk there. It's starting to set, so it is almost nighttime for us. We should be able to go and explore more. Hopefully this time as well we can spot some drops and grab them. But as well, I've noticed this little guy sitting behind me. This is, a, I think, a Dimantrosaur. Dimant, what are you? Dimantosaurus. Yep, Dimantosaur. These guys are awesome. I love them back on the island. They're, they were how I made beer. <laughs> Because I just got the saddle attachment for them. And they passively made it in their inventory. They're awesome creatures too. Because you can build a base on the back of them. And they come in three different sizes. And you can actually take the smallest size of them into the tech cave. Okay. Um, I just ran out there thinking it was uh, nighttime. And I just broke the chest piece here. So I'm down a piece of armor already. Great. Um, Rock Drake, how are you doing? Because that probably hurt you a lot more than it hurt me. I hit the wrong button there to check. Ooh, yeah, you, you need to eat some meat. You need to eat some meat. Oh, 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 it's starting to switch tonight. Look, see the temperature in the wilderness? It's rapidly dropping. So, I believe once that gets down to like 70 degrees Fahrenheit. There we go, or 90. That's it transitioning tonight right there. So, right about... 11 11 o'clock at night hey rock drake i'm so i know is as soon as we get down this ledge yep we're good we're good so we have until eight o'clock in the morning to get back here or at least that's what i believe let's glide over here we're gonna get back up on the rock is that the moon No, that's Earth. Okay. I was like, what What the heck happened? Why is the moon repaired? Like, it, That's the Earth. Uh, for some reason, though, we're a lot farther out now. We must have a very wide orbit. Or a very, uh, what is it? What are they called? Oval? Like an ovalish shaped orbit around the Earth? I think that's what it is. The words I'm searching for. But we're going to get over here to the obelisk. And we're going to try and craft some, uh, we're going to try and craft us some cryopods and cryofridges. But first off, before we get too close, surface reapers. How many of you guys are right on top of that? There's four of you. Okay, you guys are okay. It's this guy that's not. Oh, hello. I didn't even notice you. 
I need to recover some stamina here real quick as well. So let's unlatch. Um, let's see if I can track more of these reapers that are around. I think those are the ones that are all going to be right on top of it. Yeah. But we now got that one right there running around. And as well, I forgot to toggle my glow pet. It's a level 20. How hard could it be to kill? I gotta really watch my health. Oh, this thing's... Oh, this thing's like a tank. This is like a tank... This is like a tank with a, just got reinforcements and it's pinned me to the ground. Turn, turn, turn. Ooh, there we go. Oh, it's because it's doing tick damage. They're hurting me. Okay, we just lost so much health there. That was so, 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 so beyond stupid. It, yeah. That's a new record for my stupidity. Why would you even think of about hitting one of those? But, you know what? I think that's done for me. Let me do this again. Make sure we got you all tracked that are nearby. I want every reaper that's around me just highlighted so I can see where they are at all times. Okay. Can I not latch onto this? No, I can't. I'm starting to shake. Why are you shaking? Where's my fiber? Where's my fiber? Okay. 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 I'm really scared right now. Because my rock drake is very damaged. What time is it? It's one o'clock. We got plenty of time. We're gonna... We're just gonna ch Chill. We're just gonna chill, okay, guys? We're fine. Get back on the rock trick. Let's give it a little bit more time. We'll give it another 30, or not 30 seconds, about another minute here. We'll give until 2 o'clock. We got. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. That scared me. Like, fully. But now, we got a problem. We got a big, big problem. I need that Reaper on me. Okay, they're both chasing. Let's go up here. This is where we lost those other two. I think he'll chase me over here and then he'll rebury. I literally just need them all to clean out, clear out right now. So that way I can go and get all the stuff out of the obelisk. It's literally got to be just like two button hits. Me, or three, tech, four. Got to hit the butt, like four different buttons. That level 15 is right there. Okay. Come on. Poke your head out. I need you to chase me. Okay. okay back up now. And what we're going to do is we're going to unlatch and regain some stamina. Then once I have enough stamina... We're just going to beeline it straight for that. But what I want to do as well is re-highlight every Reaper around the area. Just because I know something bad will happen unless I don't. Okay. We're good. You know what? Let's not even worry about it. Just go. 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 
Go, 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 go. We got this. No, we don't. Yes, we do. I don't know why I'm doing this. We got a drop as well. That was so stupid. <laughs> oh, do I risk it for the biscuit? No, I fucking don't, because I am clenched. My legs are shaking now. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Can I go back now? Can I go home? Please? <laughs> uh, you know what? Yeah. How many of you are right on top of that? That level 15 is on top of it. Okay. We are done. We're done for today. Go. Go this way. We did not want to head out this way at all. We need to head back this way, and we're going to go for the gate. That. Oh, I'm so shaky. Our 190 is badly injured. I don't want to lose her because I need her to help me produce eggs. So I can get, you know, back up Rock Drakes. And that's probably what I should have done before we went to the surface. And that's probably what I'm going to do before we ever come back out here. But... The main goal for today has been accomplished, all right? We have successfully gotten us some cryopods. Well, almost successfully. We haven't made it out yet. Once we get back to base, it will be a complete success, all right? But by the looks of it, it's going to be because we've already made it. We've made it back here. All right, we're back in the safe zone or what I consider the safe zone. And clap, clap, buddy. You can turn off now. But... We've made it. That was, I guess, a success. I'm going to just say it. That was a successful trip to the surface. I got cryopods. I got a cryo fridge. I mean, I even was able to grab at least one drop. I got, you know what, buddy? Here, me and you, you get one piece. I get one piece. There's your cooked prime fish meat. I get me my one cooked prime fish meat. Celebration meal, right? Victory meal. Even though it's cooked. <laughs> and you probably don't like cooked meat. I, well, no creature in the game prefers cooked meat. It's always raw meat that, that carnivores like to eat. I don't know why I'm going into details right now. It was just supposed to be something silly to do. Just feed him some a nice treat, you know? Now I'm just going into details about how it doesn't work. I'm crazy. And I keep on calling her a he. I'm sorry. This is my female rock drake. She's a 190. Or was when we hatched her. But, yeah. We're almost back to the base. We're passing over the pink zone right now. Worst case scenario is that she just drops and we plummet. Don't look straight down, dumbass. I can't say that either on YouTube. Sorry. Don't look straight down. <laughs> just don't look straight down. Especially when you're flying a rock drake, because that's a good way to nosedive. But if you need to build speed, you can. Well, bam. Then wham. We're good. So we've made it back to the base. I'm going to call this a success because we success because we made it. I can't talk. Oh, don't fall. I'm I'm still calling it a success even though I missed the landing pad. Yeah, come on, one more jump. There we go. Now we're on the back porch. But, yeah, I'm going to call that a success. We made it back. We got uh, we got the cryopods, at least. We didn't get a whole lot from the drops. We only got some Mastercraft fur boots and bullets. We got bullets. Um, but, yeah. I really don't have much else for today. So, I guess if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing. Also, remember to ring that notification bell and share this video. That really helps out the channel. And, yeah, this is Mugun Shimori signing out. Peace, guys. <laughs>